Hi duckies, so I wanted to do a video about how I got my hair from black to blonde. I am a person that will mess around with bleach and stuff every, at least every other year, but this time I think I've done really well. I've found some really good products. Now I'm just messing with the tone of it and stuff, but I got from a black to a blonde in about five weeks. So I want to share with you the products that I used. So like I said, the hair dye that I was using for the past year or two, I'll pop it, a picture of it right here, it's the Garnier Olier um, Soft Black. I have bleach washed my hair, I haven't put pure bleach onto my hair. I find that bleach washing, this is the first time that I've only bleach washed and I think it's been a massive game changer in getting the bleach through my hair and making it more even. I will go through a little bit more info on how to bleach wash in a second, but I did that four times. A bleach wash is also called a bleach bath as well, or a soap cap, I think, in America, something like that. I didn't do this back to back. I did it once a week for four weeks. So when I would do my hair blonde before, I would be constantly running back to the shops to buy at least three, four boxes of the like Schwarzkopf um, blonde bleach dye always going back and forth they're about four or five pound a piece this has been so much cheaper because you get multiple uses out of the one box the packet in the bottle so this is my choice of bleach this is the matrix light master bleaching powder this is up to eight levels of lift this is a blue bleach let me just check <laughs> yeah this is a blue powder bleach I don't think the choice of bleach matters too much, the to choice of powder bleach. I think the magic is in the developer. Now, this is a game changer. This is a Swatchcraft Igora Royal. It's an oil developer and you can really feel the oil and the benefits of the oil while bleaching. It just really helps to protect the hair. I would never go back to a boxed, uh, bleach, box bleach after using these this is my ultimate go-to now it's the 40 percent one but with it which is the strongest bleach but with a bleach bath a bleach wash you're essentially bringing down the strength of the developer to an, another level down so whilst i'm doing this this is actually more like a 30 developer which is just a little bit weaker I'm actually going to link down below a video that I've found, which is uh, probably the most helpful one. There's so many different ways that people do a bleach bath, but I will link the one below that I think is most helpful. Um, I just eyeball it, so I can't really give you like ratios that because I just do it. I just mix it to the consistency that I know is right. But if you're doing it for the first time, you're not going to know that. So I will link one down below, which I think is most helpful that I've found. Um, but essentially you're mixing the bleach as you normally would and it needs to be like a thick paste but a workable paste it can't be sloppy and runny but it can't be too thick that you wouldn't be able to get it through the hair and that's kind of how hairdressers will eyeball a bleach but then once you've mixed your bleach you're going to add the normal amount of shampoo that you would usually use to go through your hair um, I've got a lot of hair. This is all my own hair. It's not extensions or anything. It's very thick. And this is another reason why I really like bleach washing because it just helps get through the hair. It's obviously, it's going to lather a bit. It helps get through the hair so much better, so much faster as well. That's my concern when bleaching, when using the box stuff before is that I can't get through my hair fast enough. There's so much of it. And stuff's developing while you've not for half an hour while you've not got any on the top and it's just a nightmare so this helps me you may have to do it more often but it is significantly less damaging and more controllable so it's definitely a plus to do a bleach bath over over pure bleach going on the hair so to mix i'll put it in a bowl and use a brush to mix it all together in the bowl but for actual application i would use my hands with gloves on obviously you don't want to be touching bleach with naked hands trust me i know i've done it before and you end up with blisters and your nail beds are really sensitive don't do it so i'll just show you quickly how i section my hair it is easier to distribute this but it's still worth sectioning your hair especially if you've got thick hair like me i always if i'm just doing like a box dye or anything like that i've used the same concept to bleach wash i'll take my hair and i'll put two thirds of it up and just get a bobble bring that all 
to the top and then I will work from bottom to top and I will get these bits in halves and then half again chuck that round getting a scoop of the bleach wash working it through for the first two times i did it all the way up to the root i'd literally put a black box dye on my hair it must have been four days before i decided i was going to bleach it so it was fresh black box dye so i did it from root to the bottom but the third and fourth time i avoided my roots i went like there and was pulling it through so i'm just pulling it through like this the bleach is in my hands and i'm just working it in and making sure that everything's covered and then moving on to another section getting a scoop doing the same thing working it through and putting these bits together and then doing the opposite side taking this down and getting another layer and doing the same thing so essentially and then i get to the top that's it i would just work my way around in like quarter sections for a third of each section of here if that makes any sense i hope that makes sense <laughs> The first couple of times I left it on for about half an hour at a time and then the third and fourth time I was doing it for about 20 minutes. I was very conscious of not ruining my hair at all. Um, the first time, I'll be inserting pictures now, the first time this is what happened with the first bleach wash, the second time, the third time and the final time, the fourth bleach wash. Like I said, once a week for four weeks I did this for. So then I had my hair at a level that was ready for toning. So what I did then, and it's a routine that I still do now and will carry on doing about every six weeks. I like the Garnier Olier dye brands. They are my favourite go-tos. I find them more gentle on the hair and they don't have that horrible smell that sticks in the back of your throat and makes you gag. <laughs> my bathroom is very small as well. So all that ammonia, it just is really hard to breathe. So I really like the Olier ones because they don't have that. So this is the one that I use now. It has a Nutra Plus in it, which actually is a anti brassiness and yellowness counteractor. So that's built into that and I like that a lot. So I'll pop that all over. It helps to blend my roots in. We'll talk about my roots and stuff a, a little bit more in a minute because they're a bit of a pain in the arse, I'm not gonna lie. And then onto an actual toner. I like this one, it's from Bleach London in the Champagne Toner. And onto purple shampoo, I'm using this one. This is massively highly reviewed on Amazon. It's the Fenola No Yellow. It's purple shampoo. I use that once a week, but I found that my hair does grab to the purple and I don't like it to be too ashy. So I will use this and I won't leave it on for that long because my hair does grab it, but everyone's hair is going to be different. With blonde, it's just having a play and finding what works for you. I'll use this, leave it on for one minute, and then I will use a different shampoo straight after in the shower. So I'm shampooing twice, once with the purple, once with the standard shampoo, just to lift that, um, any of the purple that's really grabbed, and that helps just strip that away and leave just the, just this baby blonde shade left over. So that's my routine now. It's a Olie all over dye followed by a Bleach London toner if I need it. I might not need that all the time. It just helps, especially the lighter it's got now. It's just like I said, it's just doing the little things and gauging what you can do next. But they are my two go-to products and the purple shampoo for maintenance now. So onto my roots. They are a bit of a nightmare because I'm essentially just being stubborn. I don't want to use bleach on my roots. So I'm using this product and it's the Bleach London No Bleach Bleach. And it just helps lift just a few shades and it just makes it so you can just deposit a little bit of colour. My roots, they've still got this yellowy orange tint to them, but I don't want to bleach them. Each time that I do the no bleach bleach, I will bring it down to the last bleach before. Say I've got this much fresh root that I'll do with the no bleach bleach, and then this part will have grown down to there. I will cover that whole section and lift this bit. That will be down here a few more shades it would be very easy to fix if i wanted to use bleach but i don't there may come a time down the road where i'm fed up of messing and, and i don't want this anymore so the shampoo and conditioner that i'm using now which i highly rate and they're not expensive 
the Garnier Ultimate Blends, the food, the hair food. This is the banana one. This is amazing. Once I've shampooed it, feels in the shower, feels as if it's been conditioned. Really good. I would highly recommend this banana one. A Bleach London product. This is worth picking up. It's the Reincarnation Mask. As you can see, I have used this pretty much. I use a lot of it. Um, I use a massive handful. My favourite stuff. Um, it's not too expensive, especially when you get it on offer as well in Boots. Or you can even buy directly from Bleach London, which I have done over lockdown because it was out of stock in um, Boots and Superdrug, the Bleach London, because obviously everyone was bleaching their hair at the same time in, in lockdown. Um, but Bleach London, their actual website had stock, so I ordered from them. This says it hydrates dry, damaged and bleached hair. The moisturising mask enriched with sunflower seed extract and micro wheat proteins to help improve elasticity, strengthen colour and reduce fading. The longer you can leave this on for, the better. I even mix this in with any other conditioner that I'm using in the shower just to give that conditioner an extra boost for a minute or two. Amazing stuff. A recent purchase as well that I'm impressed with is a Primark mask. This is, it's some... I can't remember his name. He's pretty new in Primark. I thought Andrew Fitzsimmons, and this was three pound fifty for this mask. It's really nice, really thick, and hydrating mask. Worth looking into. I want to look at the rest of the range because it was an overwhelming amount of stuff by this guy in Primark. Um, but it was conditioners and stuff that I was after at the time, so I just quickly grabbed one of these. But I'm definitely looking into the rest of his range. So cheap as well. And that's my hair routine and my hair care. A few products of my hair care at the minute. If you've got any questions, please pop them below. There might be some things that I've missed as well. So check the description if there's anything important that I've missed. I will link that bleach wash tutorial, like I said. It just helps to visually see someone making up the bleach wash along with the links for the bleach. They were from Amazon. I got them on Amazon Prime during lockdown. I'll link the purple shampoo as well because that was also an Amazon buy. Any questions down below, I will answer all your questions. It's scary when you're doing your hair yourself and messing with bleach. It is a scary situation. Definitely do your research. Watch other people bleaching their hair on YouTube. Watch the bleaching disasters and avoid, like the plague, the mistakes that they make. So I hope I've helped anyone that wants to go from black hair to blonde in a reasonably short space of time, but it's not a race. Please don't think that you can do this four times in one day. Your hair needs a little bit of a rest. You need to take care. You need to be watching your hair as well as you're bleach washing it. Don't just go and disappear and go outside or something for half an hour without checking it. Take it out of whatever you've put it in and have a look run your fingers through it pull on it not too harsh but pull on it and just check its um, elasticity just keep your eye on it please don't leave it unattended just try and take the best care you can of your hair in between these treatments so again i hope this helped and i'll see you in my next video bye and it's um it's it <laughs> do the less elas elas elas